It's been over a year, but I finally get to see it. Art of Rally is back. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Traction Channel. Today is the 22nd of September, well, for you guys anyway. This is a day I've been waiting for for a while because Rally Indonesia has been launched for Art of Rally. Why am I so excited? As you probably know already, I'm kind of in love with this game. The developer June has done an amazing jog... jog? Has done an amazing job of bringing all these beautiful locations to life in this game and really making you fall in love with the scenery, the cars, the action, everything. So today we are going to be trying out Indonesia for the first time. I'm going to do about three stages or so and just try and give you a flavour of what you can expect from this particular update. As you can see, we have six new stages, Mount Kawi, Samanka Bay, Satonda Island, Orang Valley, Sangang Island, and Kalabakan Valley. I just about got through that. We also, of course, have the new free roam location as well, which is Cabina Island. And they are saying at the bottom there, we're working on the next location, but the only clue is that it's in the Southern Hemisphere. So let us know down in the comments below what you think that location might be. Now for many of you, Indonesia is probably not a country you think of when you think of rallying in the World Rally Championship, except for the rally nerds out there, and me of course included in that, love you all. The Indonesian rally actually became a round of the World Rally Championship in 1996 and 1997. Both of them were won by Carlos Science in a Ford. Colin McRae also won the rally in 1995 before it became an official WRC event and Kenneth Erickson won it the year before. So we had some top talent over in Indonesia competing in the rallies. There was also a very iconic moment in 1997. Colin McRae was leading, he crashed into a tree, the car caught fire, a marshal fell over. It was all very crazy, very chaotic and he ended up retiring from the rally. Either way, what I'm trying to say is Indonesia does have a very small slice of WRC history associated with it and also it's just, from everything I can see, an absolutely gorgeous country so I'm so excited to see how it looks in the game. We're going to do a three-stage custom rally. We're going to keep the damage off because I'm probably going to bin it a lot on the new stages. I'll very quickly show you the six stages we can choose from. So there's Mount Kawi, you've also got, there is Samanka Bay, 3.6 miles. We're going to try that one, I think, as well. Satonda Island, one of the shortest stages on the whole game. I think this one will be completed in, like, a minute and a half, something like that. 1.6 miles is not very long. You've also got Orang Valley there, which looks cool as well. And then this one, 4.5 miles, and also Calabacan Valley, too. So, yeah, six very cool-looking stages. I think we'll start in the morning of the longest stage, Mount Kawi. We'll then head to Samanka Bay in the afternoon and end on Orang Valley at sunset. Let's jump in. Hang on a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Forgot to pick a car. I think I'm going to go with Group A just because that's kind of when Indonesia was around in the World Rally Championship. I haven't actually unlocked the Causey because I've not actually completed the 90s section of career mode yet. Oops. So uh, instead of right, driving Carlos Sainz winning car, I'm actually going to jump in Colin McRae's Subaru. Now, of course, he won the event in 95, as I said, and this was the car that I associate with the Indonesian Rally because his retirement was probably as memorable as any of the victories. Indonesia. Let's do it. I just cannot wait to see what he's done with this location. It's such an exciting palette to, to choose because you've got an island, you've got forests, you've got beaches. There literally is right now one of the beaches you can see. So many options for a very gorgeous looking thing. Here we go then. Off the line. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so it's going to take probably the first stage to try and get up to speed, but the idea is with the longest stage of the rally, I should hopefully be able to show you a little bit of what you can expect from Indonesia, because we should, with 6.5 miles, cover lots of different landscapes. So we're straight onto the beach here. This is kind of Sardinia-like in some ways. You've got a little campfire over there on the left, that's pretty cool. Making our way closer to the sea. Gorgeous huts and Houses, I guess, on the coast. That all looks lovely. A great place to watch some rally and get some sun. First spectator area, no problem at all. I say no problem at all. That's, yeah, that was a problem, let's be honest. Now, Indonesia, of course, only the second new location to be added to Art of Rally after release, as far as I'm aware, anyway. We had Kenya just over a year ago, and that was gorgeous in its own right as well. Totally unique. Again, you had all the animals, you had all the beautiful colours that you don't really get in other places, and this brings something new once again. It's kind of... It almost feels like it's combining a bunch of different ones together. You've got some Japanese colours in here, obviously being based over that kind of side of the world. 
these the desert areas are giving me, as I say, like Reese vibes, I guess. And then the forest, of course, should feel a bit like Finland, I would have thought, but slightly less quick, I would presume. Unless bravery required. I say that, I don't actually know yet. We're actually coming into a forest now for the first time. Lots of long sweeping corners. And we're climbing a mountain, that is what I like to see. Looks like we've got some decent elevation changes, which is always good. Oh, that is a very steep hill up there. Car getting a little bit loose at the top. Only one big mistake so far, so that's not so bad. Gonna hit the brakes. Nice and composed to another spectator area. And we're up another hill. Oh, that is a very, very steep hill. Can't wait to see what the view's like from the top of here. If I can keep my Subaru under control. Just about. This is looking absolutely gorgeous. Carrying lots of speed back down the hill. 120 miles an hour I'm going to lift through here because I do not want to run into all these people. That is great. So, yeah, to be honest, lots of high speed sections as well. I'm, I'm surprised that the elevation changes. I didn't expect it to be quite so hilly in this first stage. I was kind of thinking I'd be more deep rooted in the forest. But it's very much given me tropical island vibes. I don't really know that much about Indonesia as a country, to be honest. The things I do know are all extremely positive, and I always associate Indonesia with gorgeous scenery, to be honest. I would love to go there on a holiday at some point in my life. Can't say I've ever been that direction. This stage so far, I would say, isn't super difficult, isn't super technical. It's actually just kind of reasonably... I don't know what the word is. Not standard, but I think that's just coming to the end already. 3 minutes 27, and that is the longest stage in Indonesia on this game. So that was actually fairly quick, 3 minutes 27. So you're not going to find any epic Kenya-style adventures. You're going to have to really, you know, charge through these and make your time up when you can. But yeah, that stage, it, the difficult thing about that stage was probably the elevation coming over the crest and not missing your turning points. Other than that, it was kind of like a standard rally stage in terms of difficulty, which is a nice way to start things off. But again, it's got that unique character, which is what this is all about, really. I'm just going to record the replay for you guys so I can edit with it, and that will give me a chance to learn a little bit about Indonesia as a country and come back in the next stage as a bit of an expert. Okay, looks like we're sitting P2 in the standings after that first stage, so that's a pretty good start, just ahead of Didier Aurora. Nice, and former winner as well, Kenneth Sorikson. Okay, stage two. Already looking beautiful in our little preview. I love watching these little videos before every single stage. And you can see a lot of water there and islands. And did you know that Indonesia is actually the largest country in the world comprising solely of islands? There are over 17,000 islands that make up Indonesia. Some great stats for you I've got. It looks so good. This stage definitely looks like it's hopping from island to island and it looks like it's following the coast a lot as well. Did you know that Indonesia's got one of the longest coastlines of any country as well? Okay, let's get on then with stage two. Looks like we're starting right down by the water. Slightly shorter stage, this one. Judging by the little map at the beginning, it looks like it's going to be a bit more twisty. And we're instantly in and amongst the rocks. We've got another campfire there. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. We're in the afternoon as well. Don't hit the boats. Don't hit the boats. That's fine. Oh, we're just drifting down the beach. Oh, this is absolutely marvellous. Look at this. Snaking down the coast. Don't hit the bales. I'm absolutely loving the collection of colour that you're getting with this particular location. I think it's possibly one of my favourites so far. Just about survived that hit there. Good thing I've not got damage on. Oh, I'm really sorry. I've just wiped out someone's bench. I've wiped out someone's banner. Oh, this is not going well. I'm not really surprised there are so many hills and big elevation changes as well because... I don't know if you knew this, but Indonesia has the tallest island peak in the world. Probably not that little one we just drove past. Nicely round there. Bit of a Scandinavian flick. Oh no. Oh, I've done what Colin McRae did, but the other way around. Am I stuck? Hello? I didn't know this could happen on Art of Rally. So I've just done the exact opposite to Colin McRae. I've gone around a right hander, went off into a tree, and my car is broken. Does that make me Colin McRae? Right, we've started the stage again to get our engine back, which is a great thing about rallying in games rather than real life. You can afford to do that. 
And we'll give this another go, shall we? Gives us more time for some Indonesian facts. So we're obviously not getting the same wildlife. Oh, I've just completely destroyed that person's hut. I guess some things never change. So we're not getting the same wildlife as we got in Kenya, but there are actually over a hundred endangered species in Indonesia. And it's the only place in the world where you can actually see a real Komodo dragon, which I think is very cool. That jump is also very cool. This is a nice stage. This one's got a little bit of a nicer flow to it, I think, than the first one. I'm loving being down by the coast. I'm loving all the little huts. You've got this little hairpin. That looks great. I have to say a big thank you to June, the developer, for, for giving us a shot of this early, actually, to make this video and put it out when the stages are live for you guys. And you can go, of course, and try these out on Art of Rally. I'm sure he's very busy working on lots of other projects. And it's been a while, it's been a year since we've seen any big updates for this game. But it's great to still have something new to get our teeth into, really. And he's always done such a good job with it. Very, very interesting character as well. It's worth going and uh, watching the Traction podcast where Tom had a sit down with June and talked about this game. Absolutely fascinating. Looks like we've got a bridge onto a small island. Oh, this is very cool. Are we going to do a loop? Massive jump as well. Tight left hander. Watch the umbrella. Watch the tree. It's an umbrella. Around the last corner. Wonderful power slide. Into the hut. Spin the car around. Cross the line. 2 minutes 46.6. I like that stage a lot. We've actually finished second on that stage, but looking at the rally, we're into the lead by 17 seconds, so that's good, I guess. One stage to go. Right then, the final stage of our little introduction to Rally Indonesia, Oring Valley at sunset. I can see those mountains. This is going to be the best of the lot, I think. We also had a little preview of this from June himself on Twitter, so yeah, I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. Here we go. Underway for the last time today. We're straight into kind of mountainous sections. We're not down by the coast this time, by the looks of it. Coming up to the left hand, look at the view there. That is absolutely spectacular. I got very distracted as I was driving past it, but that was a gorgeous view. I want to go back up there in a little bit as we head back down the hill. I would love to see, you know, the Grand Tour travel to Indonesia. Oh, that is a big jump over the bridge. Managed to keep it all together. Carry lots of speed through there. This is a bit more of a technical stage once again. Up the hill, you got to be careful in the throttle to not do that. Almost tipped it. I just about got away with it. We're back down again. Yeah, visually this is up there with any other Art of Rally location. I mean, you come to expect it, you know. And by picking gorgeous locations in the first place, these guys can really, really expose the best of it. Don't know if you already know this, by the way, but Indonesia was actually where the largest ever packet of instant noodles were made. And they've got the exact same flag as Monaco. Around the final corner, across the line... 2 minutes 13.99, absolutely terrible stage, but we won the rally, and I absolutely love that. I'm actually going to restart that stage just to go and check out that viewpoint again. Alright, let's go find this viewpoint again, because I do not want to leave without having another closer look at that. Here we are, I mean... Wow. Absolutely stunning. So much depth, as usual. I mean, depth has been something that Art of Rally's always got right, and I'm gushing about it, as I always do, but wow. You get such a perspective of distance. It's a bit like No Man's Sky for car fans. What an incredible view, and what an incredible game. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you go and have a look at this Indonesian location for yourself. Fun Selector and June smashed it once again. Thank you so much. If you want to see more Art of Rally and racing game content in future, of course, subscribe to the Traction channel and hit the notification bell if you want to catch all of our videos as they are released. Until I see you next time, thank you so much for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.